How's it going everybody? Welcome back and today we've bought another car. As you can see, it's already here behind me. This is the collection video, even though I've already got it, but bear with me. I had to film this bit because at the beginning of the, the video when I'm in the truck, I kind of don't seem that excited that I bought another car. Who knows why, but I wasn't. So I thought I'd film this bit and introduce you to my free car. You'll have to wait till the end of the video to find out why it's free, but bear with me for the first few minutes. Uh, and get to the end and you'll see actually this is a free car let's get on with it so you join me from the front of the defender we've got the trailer on behind it took we've had a bit of a nightmare today so we're going to pick up another car um because i have apparently a problem with buying cars now cheap cars uh not only did I buy a TT the other day that I was going to turn, in, turn into a track car, which I thought was a great idea, I've now discovered that someone's made a TT into a track car already. So I can just buy it and go to track days next weekend. Now, that might sound like rubbish footage for you, but I think probably I will encounter a few issues with it. I, don't, I doubt it's going to be a, a perfect example, but you know, we'll see. It's got way less miles than the one I got the other day, only 100,000, and it's got all the special bits that you want. So it's got uh, Bilstein coilover suspension, it's got good tyres, it's got a remap, it's got induction kit, it's got a different exhaust, it's got different headers, all sorts of things. So that'll make it into a really, really fun little toy, which means that I now have another car back at home that I need to get rid of. So we're going to fix that up and sell that. But yeah, back to today. The small problem that we had was the Range Rover. And you, you may or may not have seen that on the channel by the time you see this video. But uh, essentially, we had an old Range Rover in the trailer and it had been in there for two months. We bought it a while ago. We haven't really decided what we're going to do with it yet. And it wouldn't come out. Even with the tilt angle on the trailer and ratchet straps and me pulling on the back, it didn't want to come out. So the only way to release it, it took two hours, was to get the Defender behind the trailer and pull with the, with the uh, toe strap and just pull hard until it broke the, the rust free. And there was a lot of rust left in the trailer. All right, I'm gonna take you along for the ride and we'll show you the car when we pick it up and hopefully we can get it into the back without any trouble. It's probably gonna be pitch black when we get there. That is not how you should buy a car. Like I say always, I definitely don't know what I'm doing. So don't do what I do definitely don't copy me. You'll probably tell me in the comments a whole load of reasons why this is all wrong. It is. But I want it. An important thing to know is it's on uh, eBay at the moment and there's an auction running and I've convinced the seller to sell it to me before the auction runs out. But I fear if I don't get it today, um, I'm, we're only £500 on the auction away from what I've offered him. So if I don't get it today, I feel like he might back out and just take whatever the auction uh, gets because he could get more. It's a good touch and go. So uh, we're going to persevere and go and get it. I'll take you along for the ride. Welcome to Common Services this evening, this wonderful Cold. I don't know, it's like 1am uh, and what we're gonna do, we're gonna take the car out of the trailer and then put it back in the trailer because we did it wrong the first time. Like I said, I don't always know what I'm doing. Hey guys, just checking in. You'll have to excuse the rubbish lighting because as you can see outside, it has got absolutely pitch black now. It's gone midnight. We've picked up the car though. We finally did it. It only took me I don't know, something like eight hours. Yeah, eight hours ago I left home. And all I've do is, 
managed to do is drive what should be a two and a bit hour drive and load a car in eight hours. That's how ridiculous it's been. And now, because I don't always know what I'm doing, I did make a small rookie mistake and uh, we picked up some special wheels that were not special wheels, just a spare set of wheels that were going to be um, loaded into the back here as a, as a spare set of case of punctures and things at tracks. They were very cheap. We put them in, we put them at the front of the trailer and then we've loaded the car in behind and strapped it all down. And I've got on down the motorway and guess what? Well, I loaded the car in reverse, didn't I? So now the engine is over like quite far over the back of the axle and even with the triple axle trailer it's causing a little bit of uh snaking i've now stopped at the services i'm going to get some food and i'm going to come back out and completely unload and then reload the car uh forwards because as if i didn't need to do something else today or something else couldn't go wrong so we'll probably get back at like 4 a.m the most ridiculous 12 hour trip ever anyway we brought you along for the ride so uh it is it is a cool car though we'll, i'll probably show it to you in a bit it's an absolute weapon we took it out for a little spin uh, i think it's going to be just the ticket for track days Okay, that's it as you can see we've got it all buttoned up it only took i don't know 20 minutes and now we can drive somewhere maybe finally get home see you on the other side i'll give you a look around the car tomorrow morning or something when i've uh, had some sleep yeah Okay, I'm finally home. It's daylight, as you can see. That was the most ridiculous car collection I've ever done. Okay, I'm just gonna interrupt myself there because it was a super, super long day going to pick this car up. And as you can see by this part of the clip, I am absolutely shattered. You can literally see it in my face that I have no more words left. So I'm gonna cut this bit out of me driveling on about picking the car up and we're going to cut to the next day where I'll show you around what we've got. So this is my 100,000 mile new to be but very old Audi TT. This is 20 years old at this point and uh, yeah it's seen a bit of use. It's definitely been used as a track car before. Who else writes on the inside wheel arch liner what the torque specs are for all the bolts? I suspect somebody that wants to change wheels pretty quickly. They ride it on the inside there. So I'm pretty sure this has been on the track before. And as I said, it came with a load of parts. Uh, and those parts, well, they're quite expensive. That's why we're getting rid of the other car that you saw me buy, the even cheaper, but definitely shitter, blue TT. That's going, I mean, have a look up here somewhere. I'll link to the video and you can have a look at that one. But this is the replacement. I think this is gonna be much better. First of all, it looks better, I think. Someone's put some wrap on there, so it looks like that it's the, uh, what do you call it? The Quattro Sport version, it's not. This is just a 225 1.8, highly modifiable. Everybody fiddles with these engines. Uh, and a TT is pretty good chassis. It's based on the Golf Mark IV. Semi four wheel drive, low to the ground, feels like a fighter cockpit inside. I mean, I'm really gonna enjoy it. You might say it's a hairdresser's car. I don't care, I'm gonna enjoy this. Uh, let's take you around and show you all the parts. So I said this came with parts and it does. Uh, basically what's happened is I've got a free car. So I bought some brakes and I bought some other bits and it came with this free car. So <laughs> I might, that might be the title of the video. I bought some parts and got a free car. I'm gonna show you around what we got on this car that makes it so special. Uh, first of all, can't show you the engine bay because it 
well, the cable release doesn't work, so I can't get in there. But I believe in the front, we have uh, an inter a bigger intercooler in there. We've got some special headlights. They don't really matter for performance, but the intercooler does. Come around the side here. In here, if I can show you, there we go. We've got, these are Tarox eight pot brake calipers on the front. So those are massive. That's like something you'd get on a Porsche 911 or something. In fact, in my old Porsche 911, I haven't got brakes this big. And they are mounted on floating calipers, which is excellent for track day use because they get really, really hot. And this means that the mount is separate from the actual disc and they can expand independently. What I can't show you in there is I've also got Let's have a go. It's very dark. Oh, there you go, you can see them. We've got Bilstein coilovers all round. So just this brake kit, in fact, and lighter weight wheels. So those are wheels that are used on uh, touring cars and things in the UK. So if I look at the Bilsteins, the brakes and the wheels, we're looking at about four and a half thousand pounds worth of kit just in those things and I paid three grand for the car. <laughs> My free car, ladies and gents. So I'm really, really hopeful about those being amazing. Uh, if we go around, it was been tuned already by Revo, so we should get more juice out of that engine, even though it's fairly stock on the engine side. That's gonna give us a bit more horsepower. Come around the back here. We've got a Miltech exhaust. That's, I mean, that's great, can't really show you any of that, but that's cool. That'll give us uh, more airflow. Going on the inside, it's pretty stock in here, so not really much going on. We've got standard seats that we'll change out at some point for something. They're quite hugging, but you know, we're making a we're making a track car. We want uh, bucket seats and a roll cage and four point harnesses. So at one point we'll do that uh, and we'll change the seats and the wheel and we'll put a, a roll cage and harnesses and all that in but for now it's pretty standard in here nothing really going on there's no radio behind there don't need it in the track car uh, and we've got a short shift uh, kit with a different shifter on the gearbox which is quite nice but that's pretty much it I think although I can't open the bonnet yes I can open the boot Let's go and show you around here. Parts. There's more parts. I mean, this is actually just under trays and things. But we've got a bigger intercooler there. Uh, and in the garage, I've probably got about, hmm, let's conservatively say, another two grand's worth of parts. So I've got a whole new rear subframe for this guy. I've got a whole set of poly bushes. I've got new rear suspension arm links, adjustable ones, uh, strengthened ones, because those are known to break on these, especially if you beat on them, and it's pretty rusty at the back there. I've got some spare discs for the front. I've got some spare pads. I've got a bunch of hoses. I've got a bunch of stuff for the inside that's more uh, cosmetic that I'm going to sell, so cup holders and things that I really don't care about, and apparently you get loads of money for those, so we'll sell those, and we'll buy some other parts. So, what do you think? It does have a few small problems. One thing I just noticed is when I open this, water, it's not gonna do it now, but there is water inside here. So you can see this is kind of all rusted. And <laughs> okay, hopefully the camera picked it up. So there's actually water inside the tailgate, which is just gonna rust that out. I mean, I've no idea how it got in there. Who knows? But over time, that is just gonna rust that out, which we need to sort. So, anyway, ladies and gents, my new Audi TT that we're gonna use as a track car. So you know what to do. If you like this kind of thing, you want to see more of the track car, you want to see me make this into an absolute weapon and hopefully not bin it in the process. If I've been entertaining and all that, then like, share and subscribe down below and we'll see you in the next video.
back from the beach. Lee, go to the beach. The beach is that way. Go home, people!